Welcome to this course on 4D planning and simulation with Synchro 4D Pro. My name is Sergi Ferrater Gavarro. I'm an architect and BIM Virtual Design and Construction Product Manager in Icon Soluciones, a Benley partner in Spain. And I am also a Benley qualified trainer for Synchro. In the first model, we will define the options and preferences of the project, and we will explain the basic notions to create a new project in Synchro. We will create new calendars for hours worked and hours not worked, and start creating our task list. Then we will group the tasks into summary tasks, creating the work breakdown structure. We will also learn how to edit task properties, define work tasks, and key dates. We will define the durations of the work tasks and links between the tasks in such a way that all the tasks of the schedule are linked together. And finally, we will explain the constraints that tasks may have in order to define a fixed start or end date. In module two, we will continue working on Synchro Scheduler. We will start by creating activity codes so that we can classify our task structure based on these codes to see different ways to group our tasks. Next, we will create different types of resources and the companies they belong to. We will group the resources by type and define a tree structure for the resources. And also, we will assign the resources to tasks and see the different methods to correct misassignments. We will also learn to define durations based on physical quantities using production rules. That will be a great help to define with greater precision the durations of tasks. For economic monitoring, we will assign budgeted costs to the tasks, whether they are fixed or variable costs. And from here, we will create a baseline of the planned tasks to compare the planned baseline with the actual baseline. We will see different scenarios to monitor the schedule and analyze the costs. For this, we will use the EVA graph to be able to evaluate the performance of the executed tasks to which costs have been assigned. And finally, we will monitor the variance of the schedule and print the Gantt chart and the Earn Value Analysis graph. In module three, we will start a new 4D project and introduce the basic 4D linking. We will start the project by importing some data. On the one hand, a Microsoft project schedule, and on the other hand, some IFC models. And we will see how Synchro converts 3D objects into material resources, and how to organize 3D material resources to facilitate link cache with tasks. We will learn to navigate in the 3D view and use the different object selection techniques, and finally, we will use different techniques to assign resources to tasks in a basic way. In module four, we will work on the advanced for the linking process. That is to say, we will create new tasks according to the level of detail of the model. We will see how to create new tasks from the model, what is called model-based scheduling. We will learn how to create resource appearance profiles with growth simulation to better explain how 3D components are installed through tasks. And we will create resource groups to simulate installing multiple resources as a single resource. We will also learn to subdivide the 3D model to adapt it to the level of detail of the schedule. And we will complete the 4D linking process using color review modes in order to explain the project to our audience. In module five, we will learn how to use an advanced for the linking method, the auto matching. We will learn how to use the user fields of our 3D objects to link them to tasks. We will create task activity codes and create auto matching rules to automatically link resources to tasks with a simple mouse click. Finally, we will use 3D filters to automatically match resources to tasks using appearance profiles with coral codes and growth simulation. In model six, we will use equipment and 3D paths in our tasks. We will learn how to import 3D equipment objects and define the resource breakdown structure to easily assign them to tasks. We will edit the imported 3D objects, 
assign the equipment resources to tasks with all appearance profiles and assign them a simple 3D path to simulate the movement of the resource during the task. For example, during an excavation task or a precast column placement task. We will also learn how to create a complex 3D path to simulate the movement of a tower crane arm throughout the project. And finally, in the module 7, we will create an animation and work with the synchronization of our models. We will create new 3D objects that better explain the projects, such as 3 text, a side map, etc. We will create cutting planes and save the viewpoints to use in our 4D animation. We will learn how to create an animation in the animation editor by placing cameras and focus time keyframes. Later, we will learn how to create our own layout and export the animation using the different rendering modes. To complete the course, we will create a baseline of the project and update the schedule and synchronize the 3D models after having assigned them to the tasks. To understand how Synchro updates both the schedule and the model during the project. At the end of the course, you will be able to import a model and the schedule, fully link the model to the schedule using color coding and glow simulation, review the construction sequence, and export a video to present to stakeholders. Thank you for investing your time in learning Synchro 4D Pro.